Hello everyone, um, in this video we're going to have a look at HTC Desire uh, 310. Uh, this particular model uh, actually I bought from uh, Vodafone Australia, so uh, this one is locked to Vodafone. And um, this uh, version has a 512 RAM, whereas some of the versions out there actually comes with 1 GB RAM. Uh, this is the actual box uh, that the phone came out with. I've taken everything actually uh, out of the box and um, Let me give you the specification um, quickly. I don't know because the lights are uh, reflecting pretty bad. It comes with a MediaTek 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor uh, Internal memory is 4 gig, but after installing Android and everything obviously you have probably 2 gig to yourself It takes a micro USD um, card up to 32 gig. It comes with 4.5 inch FW VGA screen and it also has a 5 megapixel uh, fixed focus camera at the back which according to them it records a 1080p video and also it's got a front facing VGA camera for video calling. comes with Bluetooth 4.0. Um, let's have a quick look on the box that all the accessories that came out with it. Um, it came out with the Vodafone uh, SIM card, a micro USB cable, a headset, and this is a very cheap quality one, and a charger, and a few easier manuals. Um, I have already put the battery on the phone, and the phone is um, already on. But let me uh, show you around um, the actual uh, handset. On the front, uh, we have the speaker grill, and this one here is the front facing uh, VGA camera. We got the HTC logo here, and at the bottom, this is your microphone uh, port, and also to take the cover off in the back. And on this side here, on the right hand side, we got the power switch and we also have the volume rocker bot, uh, buttons here. And on the top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and also you've got a micro USB port for charging and data transfer. On this side, you've got nothing at all. On the back side, as you can see, probably see in it. it and it catches fingerprint but it's not that bad obviously because of the bright light that I've got there it's reflecting a lot more you got the loudspeaker grill here and that's the fixed focus camera now next we are going to have a look at the user interface I have already set up my Google accounts and my office emails on this one um, it pretty much comes with a basic Android 4.2.2 let me show you that. Android 4.2.2. Um, one thing I did notice uh, that's a bit different is I, I, I think uh, the actual launcher application is a bit different here. Uh, and and this all this um, shortcut for this for app stays on even if you go to uh, App, app drawer it still stays on uh, but that if you actually launch an application for example if I go to a Chrome browser it actually um, if I can yes uh, it is loading now too much light um, as you can see oh, not really focusing well is it um, this um, this shortcut icon goes away um, now, I should actually mention that um, this particular phone um, is, is actually fast for everyday use because I've been using it for three weeks. Uh, it has got a very good uh, battery. It, 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 it lasts me um, two days, pretty much full use. I use a lot for checking lots of email, making lots of calls on this one. Um, and it's, uh, I'm actually surprised um, with the battery uh, performance. Let me take the back cover off and show you the battery size. Um, probably should turn it off just to do it right. Um, here we are. 
okay so yeah so the battery is um, doesn't say does it hang on he said uh, 2000 milliamp hour and as you know another thing as you can see here is um like this is a, like i said i think i've mentioned to you before this is a media tech uh, chipset phone so most of the media tech chipset phone actually has a provision for a double sim card so as you can see there used to they probably had the option here on the actual uh, motherboard to have run um, two sim simultaneously but HTC has taken this option out, so that's why I'm saying with a 2000 milliampere hour battery with a single SIM card, this actually runs uh, for my use uh, two days full day without um, any uh, without having to charge the phone again. Now um, it's, it's just putting up again. Um, overall, I am very happy with the phone. Uh, only thing um, that I, I do not, um, I'm not really happy with it. Is it's not like you know, I know that it's asking a bit too much, but the display is not good because, um, I mean, it's a capacitive display and it, it works, but uh, sometimes uh, you press something and it takes a few seconds to register. And I can definitely tell you it is um, not the processor, it just uh, it doesn't uh, work on the first time, you gotta tap it again like this and it, it picks it up. It, it could be that I must, uh, could have a faulty product, but um, I'm just saying it, it works okay. Uh, the display is a bit downer, um, but uh, overall, uh, very happy with the phone, especially for the money that I have paid. Um, I am um, I absolutely, I would say, it's a bargain. And a week ago, they have uh, run a special on this phone on uh, Dick Smith for selling for $99. And for $99, a uh, quad core phone is, uh, I would say, a fantastic value. Um, the camera quality is I, I like to talk about is not good at all unless you're taking a picture in a good uh, a good like uh, sunlight um, like proper lighting it's not gonna come out any good and um, even uh, I have checked the HD video as well um, not uh, wasn't really impressed by the quality but if you like it's a bright sunny day yes it works okay but uh, in a bit of shady area in low light condition it is pretty bad um, but hey it's hundred and forty nine dollars we can't really ask for more um, thank you for watching the video um, I haven't really gone through the inside Android like it's a basic Android I mean same menu same uh, applications uh, uh, wouldn't really um, nothing really different except that it comes with this HTC Blink Feed, which is nothing but it shows your weather and few latest uh, news from around the world. So um, that's about it. It doesn't come with obviously HTC Sense, so it's like a basic Android. And if you have any question regarding the mobile sort, if anything that you particularly want to know about the handset, please let me know. Um, I will be. I'll, I'll try to answer your queries. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Bye.